Rubes, it was a fair slog out there today, but good to get away with the 11-point win against the Cats. Yeah, it was. Um, they made it really hard for us, which we expected. Um, you know, it was a pretty ugly win, but a win's a win at the end of the day. Um, their pressure around the contest was phenomenal. Um, and we thought early on they, you know, had us in the air and they, they were getting a few easy marks. So when we came in quarter time, um, Steve sort of let us know about it and uh, we tried to fix up the, sort of those aerial contests. Um, but yeah, we sort of ended up knowing what we had to do and got the job done in the end. On paper, the Pies probably a bit of a stronger team, but they did come out firing early. How do you reckon the team adapted to that once we, we saw that um, they were coming out firing? I mean, we knew they were going to come out firing. Um, we knew they weren't just going to roll over. Um, they got some seriously young guns and they're a really exciting young team with a lot of pace. So I think they sort of had us on that back foot in that first quarter and a little bit of win there, a bit harder to judge, particularly in the back line. But, um, you know, the girls came together and particularly in that midfield, you know, you got Jamie Lambert in there driving it and putting her head under. Um, Alana Porter with a massive statement tackle chased down on, um, you know, their speedy forward. And Ebzo Day just working her ass off in, in that midfield, um, doing really solid tackles. And that sort of stuff really drives the rest of the team. So seeing that is definitely a lift for the rest of the girls. You must be happy with the defensive team with yourself, Stacker, Soph Casey and, and the likes um, and you're in pretty good form yourself. Yeah, no, it felt good back there today. Sometimes you have games where you sort of just feel like you're on the same page and um, I think we had a lot of those games last year and it's probably taken us the first two games to really find our feet as a back line um, and try and get back to where we were as that solid, solid defensive team last year. But um, I think this week was sort of th that first step to that and, you know, we got young kids like Mills coming up and stepping right in. Um, but, you know, we, we look at that back line and we know that any girl that comes in um, who isn't selected that week or is, is going to come in and do that job and we trust that we're going to win all 50-50, the one-on-ones, and that's what we pride ourselves on. Eliza James has just slotted into the team very nicely up forward, kicked her first goal today. must have been great to see that. Yeah, oh, she's unreal. I think she's my dad's new favourite player, actually, because she's just a speedy little jet. Um, but, yeah, no, she's awesome. She's, uh, like I've said it before, in the um, pre-season practice, she's just a spark. And I think, um, you know, audience and people at home are just going to see that more and more each week. She's a really exciting player. Um, she's probably the quickest girl out there, and really deceivingly. And she has an absolute crack. She's the smallest girl out there by a mile. But, um, you know, on the training track, she's taken on girls like Soph Casey, who we all know is a nutcase. Um, um, and dropping and Soph Casey. So if she can do that, we, you know, we know that she'll bring that every week for us. And we're only, that's only the start for her. We're going to see a lot from her going forward. Start the season, three and zip. Off we go back to Big, Big Park um, to face Frio next Sunday. Yeah, really exciting. Um, you know, you just can't get complacent. It's only the start. We've got a long season to go. And, um, you know, it, but it is a short season at the same time. Dropping one game is sort of can be really detrimental to how the rest of your season looks. So we know they're a, a really hard team to match up on. But um, as I said, we back in that our one-on-one -on -one around the ground that we can, you know, get the job done. So it's going to be a, a, a tough game. But, um, you know, we'll prepare. We've got a solid nine-day break to get our bodies right, which I think the girls need after today's uh, beaten around but um, yeah no we're going in confident and um, in pretty good form I think. Thanks Rubes off to round four we go. Thanks mate up the pies. Woo.